Hey everybody, wanted to send you uh, just a quick message to say hi, see how you're doing. Hope everything is really going okay for you as we work our way through this process. It's not been easy, it's not been fun. It's been enlightening, certainly a lot, but I do understand that it's been challenging for a lot of people. I have been having amazing days and sometimes amazingly bad days. This is a big situation. I have been trying to do some song videos for you guys, uh, but my voice is just not really cooperating yet. I have been rehearsing it, it is getting better, but my voice is definitely the kind of voice that needs consistent work over time, and it just seems to want to quit at most unexpected moments like that. <laughs> so there's nothing wrong with my throat. I do have a, a reflux condition, and what that means is the vocal cords get coated to protect themselves from being burned and then I can't sing through it. And the solution to that is to just rehearse a lot more. I need to rehearse my voice a lot and keep it clear before I can actually sing. So uh, the videos that I've been trying to attempt, the songs I've been trying to do have been interesting to say the least. So I am working on that. I am fine. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm not ill. This is just a result of what happens when I don't use my voice enough and we're all kind of quarantined. Not quite the cone of silence, but it's close enough as I'm gonna get. Oh, that was an old reference. I had shared with you guys that I had been given a prelim diagnosis of renal disease and it was scary and I was taking steps and the numbers were not good back in January when I first got this diagnosis. I was referred to a nephrologist who ordered more testing. In between January and March when I finally got to see a nephrologist, of course I did my research. A lot of it scared the hell out of me, but a lot of it was good intel. I talked to people who were not just alarmists but were very knowledgeable in this area and I changed the way I was doing a lot of things. I cut my protein way down, more than in half. I tried to boost my carbohydrates up to keep my energy levels up and my weight from tanking too badly because that's a caloric cut when you cut your protein that far. But the result has been actually amazing. I received a call from the nephrologist today who said the numbers are uh, really great. My cholesterol, which was topping 300, that was a scary moment, is actually down below 250. So um, good numbers. This, this one number um, called creatinine, which is the, the, the way your body processes pr protein and then filters it through the kidneys and it's not supposed to be building up in the bloodstream and mine was and now it's way, it's already back down to normal levels so despite the fact that this is still a challenge in front of me to see what is going on the, where we're coming from now is a much different place we're not coming from a place where what is happening and how do we fix it we're coming from a place where okay this is not optimal how do we optimize it so it's a, it's a much better place the doctor was very, very, extremely encouraging, actually, and, and and we were both very happy with the news. So I will see them again in a couple of months. I'll get more tests done. And in the meantime, I'll keep doing what I'm doing because apparently it's working. So, you know, good news on that front. And I will continue to work my way through that, as we all will, as we go through this. I want to finish with this last thing. I mentioned in the beginning of this video that I've had good days and I've had bad days. And the good days are when I have focused on this as a time of renewal. And when I've done that, when I've focused on that and kept going with that, then I have had really amazing days, really amazing moments. So I invite you to look at this time in front of us as long as we're still in this isolated period and even the, the very, very uncertainty that lays before us, how this is gonna play out, how do we go back to normal, what even, is, what even is normal? I invite you to look at this and see what can be renewed in your life and maybe what can be set aside. What kind of old goals and dreams and wishes that you may be stuck in an attic somewhere that maybe you could look at and say, all right, this is still important to me. Or maybe you could look at it and say, all right, that's just a waste of my space, even in my attic. I need to let that go. It's a great time for clearing house, both figuratively and literally. So I wanted to send you that message today. That's, that's all. 
I really, really hope that you're doing well. I wish you guys the best. I am thinking about you, I miss you, and I will see you as soon as possible. I love to you all. Take care, bye.